Hey, Internet friend, it's Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy This and That. And I've got a new friend on the line, and her name is Lynn Dominic. Is that correct? That is. Did I do it right? You got Lynn it, Dominic. Brad. Perfect. Yes, I'm not sure even how we met because this Internet stuff gets so crazy, but I think it was with Sherry Rosenthal's retreat group, maybe. Yeah, what you had done is on Facebook, you'd reached out to people who were interested in putting together retreats. Yes, that, this and, and the other thing. <laughs> I am, and here we are. Ta-da! Well, the way I do this, I don't do them too long because there's this precious uh, commodity of time that everybody has, so we just get right to the point to get to know who you are and what you do and everything. So the first question is the big who. Who are you? You married, you got kids, and all that kind of stuff. Who's Lynn? Well, I'm married, no children. Um, Not I even any fur babies? City. Two beautiful Siamese cats. Oh, there you go. See? They're over here on the... Uh, <laughs> Radiator. Okay. And you're from New yeah. York, huh? Actually, I'm from Chicago originally, but I've been in New York like four decades. So I'm a oh, New yeah. Yorker. Got it. Yes. I was out there. My, me and my wife took a little trip up the East Coast and stopped in Poughkeepsie and Woodstock and all that kind of stuff. Oh, that's great. I'm on the uh, list of contributors to the Woodstock Healing Arts Center. Oh, nice. <laughs> I yeah. I was thinking that Woodstock would have had that big guitar neck with the bird on it and stuff, but it didn't. I, I didn't really see that. I was expecting welcome to Woodstock, but it was just like coming into a little town of hippies. Yeah. <laughs> but we cool. all know what it was. Exactly. So speaking of what, what is it that you do? So I have a couple of businesses. I have an e-commerce site. Um, that's called Body Soul Beauty. Okay. It specializes in um, health and wellness, organic beauty products, all created by women entrepreneurs. Oh, cool. That's a niche. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's great. There's some fabulously talented women uh, creating amazing products and also doing spiritual practice. And I collected them and curated them under Body Soul Beauty. So how long have you been doing so, what you've been doing? I launched Body Soul Beauty in June. Oh, so it's fairly and new. And in that, I created what's called the Sacred Circle. And the Sacred Circle has some energy healers. What I wanted to talk to you about today, human design. Um, and intuitive readings, astrology, um, and also perfect for retreats. Got it. So the human design thing, that almost is like like we are creators, kind of, isn't it? I mean, kind of the concept that we create our own reality. It's a fascinating Well, you're right, because there is an element of quantum physics in it. And quantum physics believes that the energy particle, when released in a certain way, can be determined in a way that you could make things happen for yourself. Right, by the observer so kind of thing. A, it, it's a complicated <laughs> but fascinating intersection of science and spirit. Got it. I'm, I've been down yeah, the road, so right. I... And I did your human design chart. I did oh, a portion. Cool. I did a little portion, so it'll give your viewers a taste of what they can find out about themselves. Oh, cool. So do, do you work just yeah. at your home, or do you have an office, or are you, are you home office? Can I office? show you? Oh, sure, 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 sure. Yeah. Let's okay. see. <laughs> Let me just show you. So here you are. Try, try and favor your right-hand side a little bit. There you go. Okay. How's kind, this? You can kind of see it. It looks like all, all I really okay. see is a circle, though. What's and human design? Can you see that? It says human design is a type of modern-day astrology that works with the elements of traditional astrology, I Ching, and then I can't see below. you got to lift it up. The Kabbalah and quantum physics. Okay, there. Now, Bob, back to the circle, okay. the picture of the circle. 
the inter intersection. Oh, it's it's moving. Something's moving. I can't. It's too sm it's too small to read, but I get it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I wanted to tell you. You are a manifesting generator. Aha. <laughs> I am a manifesting generator. Okay, what does that mean? What does that mean? We've got, we've got a lot of energy. <laughs> we love to do a million different things. Yeah, entrepreneurial ADD, I call it. Yep. <laughs> it's hard for us to say no. We have shiny object syndrome. Right. Um, we also have a lot of creative energy. True. And when we find something we love, we go all out, we commit ourselves to it, and we try to make it happen. How many different uh, types of people are there in your program, in your system? In human design, there are five. Five, okay. And I'm one, one of the five. One is called the manifester. Only 9% of the population is a manifester. Okay. They are the true initiators. Mm -hmm. They are the starters. Then there's the generator and the manifesting generator. Okay. They're the workers. But the manifesting generators have the ability to get a lot of things done and to make things happen. That's me. <laughs> the generators, nose to the grindstone, work hard, have energy, but the manifesting generator is kind of that ADD, overwhelmed, has a voice, talks all the time. It's interesting. I'm not, I don't feel that I'm really overwhelmed. I, I feel that I leverage things, so I, I am able to accomplish a lot in a short amount of time because of the strategies and the that's, way I leverage. That's great because that means you're probably living in your design somewhat. Ta -da. When you when you're living in your design, you're flowing with your energy. The whole idea is not to get this point of resistance where you're bucking up against your right. energy. Because sort of stay in the stream. In your, stay in the stream. Don't go go yeah, reaching totally. outside the river and grabbing trees. Absolutely. <laughs> because when you're bucking up against your energy, you get frustrated, you get Overwhelmed, you get bored, and you're on to the next. Got it. Whoops. <laughs> I'm losing my earphone. Yeah, don't lose it. Don't I'm lose right. it. Calm down. Calm down. I'm a manifesting <laughs> generator to the nth degree. So, so what I do is, I do group readings where we go in. I did one the other night, and we could do it virtually. Doesn't oh, have cool. to be in person. Um, so we had talked a little bit about retreats. Would, would you do something like that in Costa Rica? That's my place. <laughs> yes. I, I would love to do something like that on Costa Rica. That'd be fun. Or what I was thinking is I would be happy to offer it to your group before you sent them down. So you could kind of give them this free retreat so it doesn't have to be necessarily only my retreat well it that's a, be, i love ideas like that because that the idea that's sort of a collaborative thing that's sort of a pre-launch so you'd get a bunch of people yes. together to start doing this thing and pre-launch into the event that's going to be happening down the road i like that that's what i thought because you're going to be getting these people together for a few days wouldn't it be great to know more about them Right, and know what? why did these people kind of get together in the corner? How come they're like that? Absolutely. Oh, it's because they're a certain Absolutely. type. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> oh. Similarity, common thread, they kind of pull them, other than the fact that they want to go to a gorgeous place in Costa Rica. Right, got it. So before I ask my, my big question, could you explain a little bit more, like how do you do your work? Do you do it, uh, like like you said, you did it, you can do it online and stuff, but... Is that the only thing you do, or do you just like do some personal coaching and things too? I am a coach. I spent before I was an entrepreneur. I spent uh, over two decades in publishing on the managerial side. 
Okay. I was the advertising director for InStyle. I was the associate publisher at Self and the associate publisher of Elf. Got it. Wow. I even was the publisher of Martha Stewart Everyday Food for a while. <laughs> okay. And that there's some credibility there. So let me ask my favorite yeah, question. And I have, of course. This is my favorite question. This is the big why question. So you're doing what you're yes. doing. Why, the W, why are you doing what you're doing? Why aren't you still being a, a, like a magazine publisher, editor? Well, there is, I was on the, yeah, I'm on the sales side, not the editorial side, but I work with some amazing editors. When the digital... Um, revolution. Revolution <laughs> started... The interest in magazines started to dwindle. Sure. The cost of buying a page in a magazine is exorbitant because of what needs to go into producing an actual publication. Right. Uh, yeah, the whole publication world has realized that. So that's kind of why you, yeah. you made the shift. Well, the jobs came fewer. I didn't lose my job, but I figured it was a matter of time right. before I did. <laughs> I was making a lot of money. And if I was running a corporation and I saw that, you know, my business was down, advertising was down, I was paying all these executives all this money. I, I mean, you have to read between the lines. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. You sort of. Yeah. Go ahead. I, I, I love to work. So, what <laughs> I wanted to do was create a life for myself mm -hmm. where I could do things that I love and I never had to stop doing them. I'm with you there. I've been self employed all my life, and that's part of what I preach. If you see back behind me, there's all these uh, like time devices. I got these little. Uh, this one my wife yeah. gave me. It's got. Got iron filings in it. It's a little magnet on the bottom there, and it, it pulls it through. But all these little time devices, because time is one thing we all have in common, and it's something that disappears every day, so you need to replenish it, and what are you doing with your time? So I get you all about the uh, the self-employment thing and being in control of your own life because... Uh, yeah. I mean, I love to work, but I like to get the fulfillment of that for me. Exactly, and be able to be in control of how you do it and how you scale it up and everything. So. Yeah. Um, before we go too long, let's get right into what do you have to offer? Do you have any kind of programs or a book or do you have a retreat yes, coming I, up? Well, or I don't have the book, but I have human design. And here's the way I would think about it for people in your audience. If you find you're wanting to do something with your life that starts with knowing more about yourself, whether it's a career change, whether it's a relationship situation, whether it's just to know more so you can move forward, human design will open doors for you that you wouldn't believe. So we can do a basic reading. So it's the basic kind of thing is once you're kind of clear on what your style actually is, because some people just don't know, once you're clear on it, it resonates with whatever opportunity is there, and it happens a lot faster. Absolutely. Cool. And how do they get a hold of you to get the, get access to this kind of thing? They is can. It, they, well, they can email me um, at Lynn at bodysoulbeauty.com. Just three words: bodysoulbeauty.com. All written out. Yep. Lynn L Y N N E at bodysoulbeauty.com. Got it. And or I will... they can message me on Facebook. Good old Facebook. Or Instagram, Body Soul Beauty. Absolutely. Or they can contact me and I'll figure out how to get them to you. Absolutely. <laughs> but it's so much fun to do body, uh, to do human design for a group. Um, and Or it's great to do one-on-one. -on -one. And, and you can, do it all. And you can do them like on Zoom and get a whole little group. You could probably Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. Yeah, very we cool. We can do a whole group. 
Well, let's let's see I'm if we can pull somebody together and do that. I'll kind of head it up and be the facilitator, and you can be the I instructor. I would love that. Let's see if we can. <laughs> it's so it's fun, and I did a group the other night. I did fifteen women, and I explained what every type was, and I said, "Okay, how many of you think you're manifestors? How many of you think you're manifesting?" It was really interesting to see Got it. who thought they were what. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a manifester, of course. Sure. But only only 9% are manifestors. But we actually had three out of the 15 that were manifestors. Perfect. Well, uh, again, I don't like doing these too long because people have busy lives and things. I just want to get know. to know who you are. So I'm going to sign this one off. If you want to stay on, okay. we'll have a little chit-chat. So and I'm going to sign this one yeah, off. Yeah, so. I would. I would love it. So stick around to stay on here and we'll just sign this one off. Thank you everybody for watching and thank, thank you, you Lynn guys. for taking the time. Thank you. Message me. <laughs> oh, I love that applause. Keep it coming. <laughs>